Loon is incredible. This guy has so much wisdom, you know, he has become the moral compass of our team. And he was a key instrument in everything that we've had going. I'll ride with Loon forever. This is a, this is a special man. From UCLA, number five, Kevon Looney. In Milwaukee, uh, basketball is kind of a big thing. That's like really the only sport that people really care about, and at least in the inner city. And uh, my dad had me out there five or six, teaching me how to do layups, teaching me how to fundamentals, teaching me how to box out. You know, him and my brother were, were big in my development. And uh, everybody from Milwaukee who plays basketball think they're tough, and they think they're hard-nosed and hard workers. And I kind of try to embody that when I go out there and play. So when I got to UCLA, I actually hurt my hip in the summertime. So I got to UCLA in June and I probably hurt it in like July. So all summer, I didn't get to play. It was trying to figure out what was actually wrong with my hip. And I didn't really know what was wrong with my hip until October, which was like a week before the season. And they said I was gonna be able to play through it and just gotta do like a little bit of rehab. And I played through the season, I played every game. I got through it, but uh, I knew after the season that it was over that my hip was, wasn't getting better. It was kind of going in the wrong direction. All through the pre-draft and all through the uh, summer league, I played through it. I was able to, you know, meet with the training staff and I uh, got a lot of different opinions. They told me it was best to get the surgery, so I uh, ended up getting, getting surgery on, on my right hip. So I went down to Santa Cruz to rehab my right hip. I got all the way back. I probably played five games. I went back down to Santa Cruz and I actually had a hip strain on the same hip and they was like, I was gonna be done for the season. So they looked at it and then they looked at my left hip and said, your left hip is just, is worse than your right hip was. And you can get it now or you can gonna come back in two years and get it. So I decided to get the left hip fixed and I got two hip surgery in one year. It was always a lot of doubt. Uh, I was a lot of unknown going on. So I always kept my confidence. It was times where I was frustrated but I always knew that I could uh, figure it out and be able to, you know, play at a high level. Collins again, a little fake shot blocked. Kevon Looney, Rick Looney on the follow. Kevon Looney continues to impress. 2018, that year was probably my best year in the NBA, uh, playing-wise, and I had a great year. Uh, made it to the finals that year. That close to winning, I ended up fracturing my collarbone, and I'm thinking, oh man, it's all, all over again. I'm, I'm having my best year, and now I'm hurt. They tell me I'm, I'm going to be done for the finals, and. You know, I got, got a second opinion, and he said, now, I know it hurts, but if you can play through the pain, it can get worse. You know, as an NBA player, we know how hard it is to get to the finals, and I didn't know if I was ever going to be on that stage again. It's like, all right, if I got an opportunity to play, I got to play. And uh, at that moment, I didn't know if what was going to happen. I didn't know if we was going to be able to go to the finals again. I mean, I just want to be out there for my team and go out there and leave it all out there, and, and that's what I did. So in 2019, uh, the nerve thing, that's when it really started. That's where it was at its worst. Neuropathy is nerve pain, and you can get it in your hands and feet. That's mainly where you get it at. Uh, but for me, I can get it anywhere, especially wherever I get hit or wherever it's like inflammation. I feel like I took three steps forward and took eight back when that when that injury came in. Uh, but once I was able to figure it out and learn how to take care of myself and learn how to treat that and really pretty much get rid of it, I feel like it's in the past. But that, that's that was definitely a, a dark time for me. One man played in all 82 games. Only five guys in the NBA did this at all. Kevon Looney was there each and every night. Uh, last year, coming into that year, I set a goal for myself that uh, you know, I wanted to play every game. I had a great summer of, of training and working out. I was feeling good about myself. So coming into camp, I was, I was pretty really confident and I was just wanted to focus on what I could do, which is rebounding and and uh, you know, in defensive end, and you know, this is my first year really being the starter the whole year and having that uh, responsibility on my shoulders. You know, I was able to reach my goal playing all 82, and after all the adversity I had in my career to be able to do that and be a big piece of a team like that, and for all the people that doubted our team and doubted me, and for me to be able to you know, reach my goal as a team and as a player, it was, it was a really special, special moment for me.